Hello, 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 everyone. How are you? I'm going live with my client Juliet. Juliet, I'm gonna tag her and invite her here. Hello, hello, beauty. How are you? Bonjour. Bonjour. <laughs> How Hello. are you, love? I'm good. And All you? Good. Really good, really good. I just took a bath before this live, and <laughs> as we do. I love it. How is Amsterdam? It's so gorgeous today. The weather, it's sunny, it's beautiful. How is Barcelona? It's, uh, it's very humid. It's like uh, I was uh, talking with a friend because I went uh, for a long lunch with her and I was like, I, since I'm three months almost out of Barcelona, I didn't remember how it's like being in Thailand, you know, being in Bali, but in Barcelona. <laughs> really? Oh, I think it's, it will calm down for the fall. Yeah. But in general, you know, because there is a sea, it's quite, uh, there is a quite a lot of humidity. Mm, I like your nails. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, I'm picking so, a cute filter because I look so pale even though I just Yeah, went. put the filter. Let's filter up. Filter it up. Do you see a filter now? No. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay, but you, know you what? always look beautiful. Thank you, babe, you know. View filter, yeah, fuck it. There's no filter. We're going, <laughs> we're going fresh. <laughs> so for the people here who doesn't know you, oh, oh <laughs> we see your plans. Would you, would you like to introduce yourself, uh, who you are, what you do? Yeah. Um, hi, I'm Juliet. I am. Well, first of all, the reason why I'm here is because I'm a client of Lisa and I'm in her mastermind, uh, Woman of Wealth, which has been just fucking amazing. So I'm so excited to talk about it today. And um, yeah, I am a pleasure and business coach. I am from New York and I live in Amsterdam. Um, and what I'm really here to do on this earth is to have women take up even more space, both sensually and financially and step into their juiciness like this right. is and, and also develop more self-trust that keeps on coming up in my containers so, mm. yeah and so what type of women uh, do you work with uh, and how long have you been doing your business yeah so um i work with mostly female entrepreneurs um but lately women from all walks of life have been coming <laughs> to my field and I'm just accepting. Like, I, I love it. It's, it's been so expanding. Yeah, mm -hmm. expansive. Um, what was the other question? How long are you doing your online? Oh, yeah. I've been doing, um, so I've been a consultant, a digital consultant for over four years. Mm. Um, so I was doing um, digital marketing. <laughs> Hi, Samantha Brown. Uh, digital marketing. And, um, but I've been really like a woman's coach in the online space for one year now. I'm celebrating mm. my one year anniversary. Yeah. So what made you make the leap from the digital marketing to create your own uh, business? Yeah. Um, so I was... I was following the advice of my conditioning, of what I thought would be safe, what I thought would be secure. And so I went into digital marketing because I went to business school, I got my MBA. Mm. Um, and I was like, okay, this can be creative. Cause I knew I was creative, but I also knew that I love sexuality. So I'm like, what do I do with this shit? Like, do I do my own <laughs> thing or do I just find a job? And so I decided, okay, I'll start my own sex toy company on the side and I'll also get a job, a normal job um, in digital marketing. And so 
that's kind of what I started. I played, like I had my passion projects on the side, but I never really gave them space to really take off. And so I kept like the safety of the old paradigm, tech jobs. And when I moved to Amsterdam two and a half years ago, I started working for a startup and I was so fucking trained. I was like, <laughs> I was working with, you know, just a group of male engineers I was like, where is their spice? Where is their juice? Like, what the fuck? like, I'm drowning here. And so I was like, okay, I need to, like, everyone was telling me, keep the job, Julia, until you find another one, play it safe. And I was just, I didn't tell anyone, not my parents, not my partner. I just walked into work one day and I'm like, I'm done. I'm yeah. out of this. Like, I'm going to get my sex coaching degree. I'm going to go into this. Um, and so after a few months of learning about sexuality and really how to hold space for women um because i knew about sexuality but not how to hold space because that's totally mm. different um and i went through my own process and so yeah and then i launched my business wow <laughs> i didn't even know that you had a, a toy sex toy company yeah do you still I, have it or not no or it not? was called j lips for my name juliet <laughs> lipman <laughs> and um I, it was a it was a sex toy recommendation platform. Ah. Wow, so fun! Yeah. And I mean, I think uh, I know you have for like for me, you have this perfect uh, balance mix uh, between uh, all this uh, you know sensu sensuality, sexuality, but also all the business uh, background uh, with your you know MBA and the fact that you have done already digital marketing so there is really this um you know holistic uh, deep uh, approach you use yeah yeah i think like for the longest time i didn't know what to do with it i was like shit i have my business degree my mba i got it from yale university and it was so old school and then i also had this love for sexuality and passion i was like okay how in the hell is this ever going <laughs> to bridge right and that's the coolest thing about the coaching industry what i've noticed is that like we get to take all of our background even mm -hmm. things that we didn't even think would have to do with what we're doing now and all of a sudden it creates this like very unique bundle that's really juicy and it's based on experience based on proven results right and then that's where you're like boom i can make a difference with this yes yeah So and you were, you were doing before, I know this is interviewing me, but I'm curious. You, uh, before you were doing HR, right? Yes. Nice. Well, I was doing many different things uh, as a manifesting generator. Uh, yeah. But I did like many, many years in HR. Then uh, I had two businesses. Uh, I, I did um, coaching, counseling, therapy, a lot, a lot of stuff. So nice. so nice. But uh, as you said, it's like uh, the beauty of this industry and doing this work is that we can bring everything uh, to the table. Yeah. Like we don't have to let a uh, piece of our soul uh, and our, you know, story on the back because that's what makes us different. Yeah, totally. Like I was just speaking with a friend the other day and she's like, She was like, I have this thing. I don't know, she was talking about something with content. She's like, I don't know if I want to do that. And, and then we spoke about it and we're like, that's actually like part of your magic. That's what lights, that's where you've really like been able to put, put your DNA all over. Mm. Really you. So how can we weave that in? And now she's doing that and she's so happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what was like... Uh your first uh, impression or your first uh, kind of um, experiences with uh, working with other mentor, with other business coaches? Uh, like, did you already, when you started, did you already hire a business mentor? Yeah, um, so no. So I, when I said I'm celebrating one year, I'm celebrating one year from when I hired a business mentor. <laughs> Because before I started my business like a year and a half ago to almost two years ago, but I, it was such a hobby. It was like not serious. My prices, I was, oh my God, I, I, what I was charging is a joke. I can't even like something between like $40 an hour to like $70, $80 an hour. Wow. Yeah.
I know it's kind of crazy and got rid of the hourly thing right away but um but yeah so um it was such a hobby and I just wanted to share my knowledge as I was you know gaining my coaching experience and it was just a fun way for me to play with it but a few people came on my path but I was just not equipped to like how to handle a sale how to bring them in and how to feel confident in what I had to offer um so yes when I eventually when I hired someone um my experience was first it was great because I hired it was one-on-one -on -one and I love that one-on-one -on -one work and that's what I now do like I'm really specialized in one-on-one -on -one, as you know um and I really enjoyed that um but what happened was is like my first impression of the coaching industry was like wow like anything can happen mm. it's like people are making 10k 20k 100k months and it was like this excitement and I didn't really know where I fit in with it. And I was like, shit, what's my price? So I loved having like one mentor where I could ask questions to. And it, yeah, it really helped me gain confidence and understanding and navigating this world. Mm -hmm. um, but what happened was, is that I completely, like I lost track of myself, you could say. Like I got so carried away with like the pushing and the doing and that was from my conditioning of my unhealthy masculine mm. um, that we're still unweaving today but we've done such beautiful work <laughs> in the container let's talk about it in a second um but yeah i was pushing so hard and i was around people that were also pushing very hard and i didn't feel um like the woundings, like the things that I've been carrying around for so long that needed some healing, serious healing. Because if I was gonna help other people uplift and step up in their finances and in their sexuality, but I was still holding on to energies that were not serving me, how can I actually serve them? And so I always felt this, not this unalignment actually. And I was like, fuck, like, Yes, I know how to market. Yes, I know how to sell. I know all the strategies. Fine, I got that down. But I actually needed so much more of the energy, the inner work. Um, and then that's when I found you. Mm. <laughs> Love it. So, um, what, uh, like, what would you say was the main thing uh, that makes you made you say, "Oh, I want to work with Elisa." Like what was, like what called you at the beginning? Yeah, yeah. Um, so actually we were in the same mastermind, but I, but we didn't really see each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but so immediately I had seen, I had seen you writing things on Facebook because we had become friends on Facebook and I was like, fuck, this woman is just like, boom, here it is. <laughs> And I just loved how you were like, you were not afraid to say the thing. And it made me feel at first, my nervous system was like, oh, oh you know, I was a bit scared. And then when I started reading more of your work, I'm like, but this woman has a big heart. So she's a truth teller, but with a big heart and with really pure energy. And I was like, fuck, this sounds like maturing. This sounds like some next level shit, shit, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> <laughs> oh, um, and I I felt very drawn to you I felt like you were very powerful um, and I was and I felt like there were things in me that people weren't telling me that I knew were there and I really wanted support I wanted someone to hold me and be like look girl look in the mirror and um, yeah and I felt pulled to you mm. so we started when it was June Yeah, I think like end of May. End of May, we did a, a month uh, intensive, one on one. Yeah. So how it was that that experience? <laughs> um, it was amazing. It was amazing because I was not too familiar with human design, and basically what we assessed was first of all that um, you are a projector. Yes, I'm a projector. Yeah. I'm a four one <laughs> projector, and. Um, And you were like, girl, you're a projector, but you're acting like a manifesting generator and it's not working for you. <laughs> and, and so you basically gave me advice that was really true to my energy that felt like deep down inside my intuition knew that I actually wanted to be more at ease and more relaxed. And 
kind of shine a light and have people come to me because they, they feel my energy and they feel good about me and they feel like I can really help them. And so that's what we, you, you told me and I was like, wait, it can be that easy because I think I had a lot of shame around um, listening to myself. And so by you like reaffirming the, the, the quietest whisper that I had deep in my soul and in my heart, I was like, ooh, <laughs> it felt good. And so I started to um, listen more to myself and um, deepen and deepen. And, um, and it just felt totally different. And actually the whole plan shift, I came to you because I wanted to launch a mastermind. Exactly. I think that's super interesting to share because, um, you know, what happened a lot of time is that um, when people work with me, it's like, it's always like uh, an initiation. And uh, at the beginning, like, it's more of a disruption, you know, of everything that uh, you have been told uh, that is not in alignment. And so at the big, like, I want to make it clear at the beginning, it's not super comfortable. Like, as you said, I pull, I pull you up, uh, I pull in front of you a mirror that is not always like, oh, everything is great, you know? There are some shit to work through and some triggers. And so the reason why we, said we, we did this one month package is because it was a launch package because you wanted to launch uh, a mastermind. And what happened? Yeah, so um, I realized that I was doing it for the wrong reasons. And I was doing it because I thought that I should be doing a mastermind at this point, because financially, it was, you know, it's the best way to make money in the coaching industry and blah, blah, blah. And um, yeah, and then after doing some work with you, I went on a retreat to Spain. I got even more in touch with my intuition. And then when I came back, I was like, why the fuck am I doing that? <laughs> and then I got rid of that whole plan. And then, um, and then we spoke about it. And what we came to the conclusion was that like, I fucking love one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, and why do I have shame around that? And why can't that be enough? And if it's the thing that you're so good at and you love, you can make your own rules. And that's what we discussed. And, um, and that felt so good. So I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> I can just be myself. Yeah, because before, like, you were coming from a very, like, uh, masculine, uh, strategy-oriented uh, approach of coaching. Which didn't where, work for me. <laughs> yeah, where your, men your past mentor told you, like, the next logical step is to launch a mastermind. Because you leverage your time, blah, blah, blah. But, um, but it was not true for you. Yeah, I, I feel like there's not enough. Um, I feel like in the coaching industry, a lot of what people do is like, because it works for them and their energy and their design type. They're like, okay, this is what works. Like, I can talk to you about this and I can teach you this because this is what I know. But the difference with this container with you is that you're like, well, hold on one second. You're, the way your energy works and loops in your body is completely different. And so it's a very customized approach. Um, and I'm so grateful you taught me that because now I bring that to my clients yes. as well. And it's, it's the thing that sees the best results. Mm. I love it. And can we talk a little bit about content? Yes. So how it was, uh, because... by the way, I'm so curious. Do you have a list of questions or are you just like, no, I'm just riffing. I love it. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> Let's talk about content, like, uh, because a lot of people, you know, in my audience or people who work with me, like content, uh, content creation is a huge, uh, quote unquote, uh, issue. Mm -hmm. Again, uh, because of all the rules uh, we have been told in the online space, the copyright, how you are supposed to write, to catch, to be catchy, to make people buy so tell us a little bit about how it was for you, your experience uh, to write content, how did it felt, and now how do you feel about it? Oh, yeah, that's been such a big shift. Yeah, I'm so glad you asked that question. <laughs> um, yeah, that's huge. Well, 
there are like several pieces. First, what I was doing before was I was, um, oh, I felt like I always had to create like the most amazing piece of content that would just drew people in. And um, again, that was my unhealthy masculine being, um, needing to prove something, needing to not manipulate, like I wasn't trying to manipulate people, but you know, it, it comes from this place of like needing to prove and this perfectionism thing. And so that was kind of haunting me. And, um, and I felt really at, at, not at ease with it. I was like, oh, like, I don't know if I can sit down to write the content right now. I just was always having pushback. Um, I never wanted to write it or I felt like, again, I had to prove something. Um, so yeah, what we did together was first of all, you're like, Juliet, you know, hire someone to help you post the content, help you repurpose the content and make stories. And I hired the amazing Annette, who Annette. I think is watching this live. Yeah, we see you. <laughs> Hi, babe. She's amazing. She's amazing. Um, yeah. Yeah. And you, and you sent me to her. So that was like so helpful just to grow my team with you and under your guidance. Hey, Annette, babe. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, so that, that was life changing. Um, and someone who really understands my vibe. Um, and that's not like, you know, using some, like it's not someone else's energy and someone mm -hmm. else's words, it's still my words. Um, but someone just helping me get that clear and mm -hmm. like creating that healthy masculine. Um, and as of recently, which has been so beautiful, I had this huge shift where um, in the mastermind we were talking about, I was like, Elisa and, um, and Leisha, I was like, I, I, there's not one bone in my body that wants to sit at my computer <laughs> and push, you know, and write the content and drink the coffee. I'm like, oh, I want to die. It's not what I want to do. Um, and you, you said to me, you're like, what if it didn't have to be like that? What if it could be, you know, this beautiful flow of, of just like, you know, you're just wanting to show up and having it be exciting. How would that look for you? How would that feel? And I was like, oh, I don't have to have shame and force myself to sit down. Actually, I could go for my bike ride and not feel guilt and shame about that um, and just enjoy myself and then sit down and have it be like my own party and you know have like my nice cappuccino and then afterwards I treat myself to a bath and just all these things and so recently I've been doing that and I've been going on content dates like I went to Soho house two yeah. days ago with a friend to like write my content and I felt so good so like I'm so excited I'm developing a new relationship with content that feels juicy that feels alive and while Annette helps me plan my content, every week I go in and um, change the words to bring in more life force energy. And for me, like that's been an amazing shift. Mm, I love it. I love this content date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So after the, the 101, then uh, you decided to continue with, uh, with us, with me to do the Women of Wealth Mastermind. So I know you have been in other masterminds. I would love to know what is different. Yeah. 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 So I've been in three masterminds, each so different. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, what I would say about this one is that, um, yeah, first of all, like we're constantly being held in a boxer. And for me, this is where the shifts are happening. It's like the every day, I mean, and I even asked you, I'm like, Elisa, like, because most coaches I work with, like, they don't want to be on Voxer because it's mm. life sucking, they think. And I asked you once, I'm like, are you okay? Like, you, you check it a lot. You're really present with us. And I'm like, are you okay with that? And you're like, yeah, it's not, I'm, it's not even a thing, right? It's like an <laughs> extension of you. You're just so happy to show up. And if things go over time, you're not like, okay, this is the hour. Bye, I'm out. <laughs> you're like, you're giving yourself there and, and that's when you really feel supported <laughs> when so, when you're not just like an hourly thing um as a client but you're really like accepted and welcomed into someone's sphere with love and protection and care and um so that's huge um and yeah like the for me all the shifts are happening in the boxer um also the salons we're having are amazing um but yeah, and also the, in, in, the, the, the incorporate, incorporating the gene keys and the human design. Um, it's just, if we don't write in the Voxer for a few days, someone checks on us, like, how are you doing, you know? And that, that has been such a 
that's been so different. Um, and oh yeah, this is what I want to say. The deepest thing for me with this mm. container is that um, basically we're not just saying like, how are you and talking about strategic things, which is important. But once you get to a certain level as a coach, you know the strategies, that's like amazing. things are not really shifting. Um, the most important thing is actually finding the reason why things are not working, going to the deepest explanation and being held there and loved there as you get the mirror <laughs> pointed at you so you can see your shit and, um, and move through that. And so that's been consistently happening in the mastermind. And for me, it's the feminine, like it's the energy, it's, it's the love, it's the, as I said, if we're going to teach people these things, we have to move through it ourselves or we have to be acknowledging of it. So I feel like this entire mastermind has just been this um, stepping into womanhood, if that yeah. makes sense, stepping into this next level maturity in the business um, and with friends. And I just, you know, it's a lot of shifts like on the nervous system. A few times a week, I'm like, whoa, am I going to take that next shift again? Like, am I going to? finally face the thing, the loop, the cycle I've been in for years and years and years. And it's, it's heavy stuff, but um, I'm moving so fucking fast now. Like my mom jokes, she's, I, I tell her every week, I'm like, mom, I've changed so much. She's like, Julia, you're always changing. <laughs> I'm like, I know. <laughs> and uh, I want to talk a little bit about uh, like, now that you went back to the Hamptons uh, and you were with your family, like how it was, because what, I, what, what is important to me, as you said, like, okay, the strategy, like at, at one point, you know, when we do 20K, 30K months, the strategies are always the same. You know, we cannot reinvent the wheel. What, mm -hmm. what we have to work through is the um, alignment, uh, the the fear the um, the energetics uh, the emotional intelligence uh, all of those things uh, that uh, in other you know what me personally having I key having joined uh, many other masterminds is very difficult to find uh, a combination of energetic strategies emotional work uh, healing uh, you know and so um, what, what matters to me is, is that you don't only make more money, you know, because cool, like we can make money, but feel like shit, you know, totally. <laughs> yeah. because you, you, you were already making money, you know, you were already reaching this 30k months, uh, but how did it felt? Like sometimes if I felt, yeah, I felt so much unease in my body um, because I wasn't doing it in a way that was like aligned with my energy and my soul you know <sighs> and working many many hours doing nothing also just like working i don't know what i was doing but i was yeah spending a lot of hours <laughs> for sure but what what is also important for me is that you know when we when we talk about west uh, West is not just about the money, it's about you having better relationship, uh, better communication, uh, better, you know, relationship with your partner, with your family, you know, better energy, better health. It's all wealth, time, freedom. So you could take like how much a month in the Hamptons and you didn't work much. No, I mean, yeah, I, I was working at a retreat center also giving sessions, which were just divine. So I wouldn't call that like working yeah. a lot now. No, me neither. No. Um, it was it was so beautiful. Um, but yeah, I was able, that's the thing. Since I started working with you, things have shifted in the sense of instead of like every day I need to sit down and try to pump out the content, mm -hmm. or try to do this thing or just be in my head in loops of things of like how to make it better. Instead, I trust, I decided to trust that I know the strategy. I decided to trust my own human design, the way my energy works in my body and lean into that. And so exactly like I have been making money, 
Um, and now when I make money, it feels so much different, I would mm. say. Like, because instead of me having to prove myself, which is what I was doing before with my content, I've, I asked friends this recently, I'm like, did you feel like I was proving? They're like, no, it's something that not everyone could see from the outside, but on the inside, if you feel unaligned, it sucks your soul and it sucks your energy. And so I was feeling this energetic suck. And then when I decided to trust and lean back and be in my projector energy um, and be held by women as I continuously face my shadows and mm -hmm. shine brighter and felt safer, it's, I started to welcome in different types of clients, mm. people that you know I haven't spoken to in a long time, to, reaching out to me, telling me they want to work with me. Wow. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been so beautiful. I feel, I feel very touched. Yeah, me too. Yeah. And then, uh, you know, I, I saw a post you did, I don't know, three days ago or something, where you said, like, I, I was in the end just with my family, and it was the first time we didn't have a fight. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, actually, I'm writing a post about this now, so it's interesting. Um, and the point being... Um, you know, like the little things that used to get under your skin. Like, I know you were just with your family too, right? And you also wrote something about it as well. How, yeah, how you felt really connected. Yeah. And I think when you do this sort of work, um, you're doing the work on yourself. You're guiding others and doing the work. Um, and you're really facing your shadow. I mean, that's really what it is. You're really not letting your inner child or the old loops of like reaction get in the way instead you're able to like really come from your heart right and come from these deeper places um the whole relationship shifts like i i wrote in this post that i'm going to post soon but i wrote how last year i remember i was pitching my business idea or i was talking about my online business to my family and friends and i remember my parents just being like is this girl gonna make money in this and they were i could see concern on their face and this year when i spoke about it I saw their face relax. They were smiling. They felt proud. Mm -hmm. And for me in that shift, I'm like, okay, what, what, ha what changed here? And for me, what changed was, um, yes, there were results, but on a deeper level, I know that I'm going to get the results and I know that my business is going to continue. And I have deep, deep, deep trust. I don't have these old negative voices or inner child fears anymore that are like, I say something, but I mean something mm. else. Instead, it's very congruent and that's power, that's feminine power. And so I felt like they, people could feel that and um, it felt good to receive that. I yeah. love it. That makes me so happy. Mm, so happy. You. And would you like to talk a little bit about my wealth coding session? I know you I was just about that. to say. <laughs> I was just, I was just about because to say. Because people to say always that. ask me, what is this? And I'm like, I know it's hard to explain, but, you know, maybe clients who have experienced it, uh, it they, they have, you know, their own words to describe it. Oh, I am jazzed up to talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot to say about it. So first of all, it's um, maybe you can describe it in terms of like what it is. It's a kind of like Reiki, cord cutting, clearing, protecting. Anything else? Mm -hmm. It's like a, how I call it is a, I don't use Reiki. It's a um, okay. psychic uh, surgery. So basically I work remotely and I see like I'm clairvoyant. I have all the clairs uh, and I can see like your body, your organs, uh, your energy centers, uh, your past lives. Uh, present like something that happened maybe a trauma that happened in the in this lifetime that is you know imprinted in your energy in your body i see your aura i see i see a lot and mm -hmm. then i go there and i like remodel upgrade uh, like um i work a lot also with my hands on mm -hmm. your energetic field because i have this this midas touch that uh, is in my hands and then uh, I give uh, to your energy some upgrades and codes. Yeah, it's so funny. Um, sometimes I'm like, does it, can Elisa think what I'm thinking? Can you? <laughs> <laughs> can you? I can, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting. No, I love it. Um, 
Yes. So it's what 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 I have experienced. I think I've experienced like three or four of them at this point. Um, and the first the first one was pretty big. It was about money, and so mm. I felt like oh, just like this breath. Yes, she can. <laughs> awesome. um, I felt just this breath of fresh air. And after that, um, I felt like a lot of clarity came around money with me and some new clients re-signed with me. I'm sorry, some existing clients re-signed with me. So it was like this beautiful moment. Um, and then last month's coding session you did with me, I felt this this energy of like the goddess. Mm. And so that's what you gave me. That was what you gave my aura. And so I'm sitting there and I'm like, Okay. And so the next, the following days I worked at this retreat center and I gave goddess activation. Yeah. Awakening. And, um, Oh my God, I felt so fucking like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it was really cool. And, and a lot of girls that were there were like, you just exude this goddess energy. I'm like, this is the first I've ever heard of this before. Anyone ever freaking telling me that. And so <laughs> that felt really cool. I was like, shit, this shit works. And the last one you gave me for me had the most profound effect. Mm. That was the one with the heart mm. um, because I, I'm a 401 projector. And so, you know, my strategy is also really to speak from my heart, but I felt like from inner child woundings and cords and past lives and whatever, I didn't always feel safe to lead with my heart or people always who know me would say, Juliet, you're so loving, but at first you come off mm. intimidating. And so, um, I always heard that growing up. And so after we did our session last week, um, I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's been insane. Like I've just been connecting with strangers, with people that in the past, I haven't told them that I love them, but I'm like, I'm just so seeing them and expressing, not saying by saying I love you, just, just by me, my presence. And it's like deeper than just like, I can say I love you now. It's a lot deeper than mm. that. And so like my heart singing right wow. now. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm so happy. Yeah. And that uh, that's that's the magic, you know, that's a magical piece. Uh, but I also want to, you know, I was talking about this with Samantha yesterday. It's like our clients uh, get like mind-blowing transformation. Like as you said, it's like a hyper speed. Like every week is an up level. And so yes. I feel that uh, sometimes people are like, oh, this cannot be true. It's crazy. It's impossible. But I also want to wanna point out that it's possible for everyone, uh, but it's possible when you put the work also. Like I want to point out that you are a person uh, who always works, who self-led uh, herself, who is... Uh, when you need, you ask for support. Mm -hmm. And then you listen, you let yourself be guided, you do your own work, and then you come back. Mm -hmm. And that's the power of a woman, and that's the power of feminine leadership, because it's not just about, I know it all, and then, you know, I come here in the boxer shot, in the coaching, and everything you say, I don't listen, because I know, I know better, you you are so like uh, open to receive and so grateful and so appreciative and so beautiful in your receiving and that has been for me all of my you know women clients because i only work with women all of my clients that have been in this energy they have shifted the most yeah that's the feminine right that's the um the receiving and yeah i feel like if you oh my god sorry i just saw a huge spider on my window <laughs> <laughs> is that a good thing good sign um i i feel like if you're in this line of work obviously you love you know you love this personal development and so sometimes it's um but people that want the shifts sometimes they're stuck in these loops so it's like yes. can you surrender to the fact that you're stuck in this loop and can you surrender to the fact that it might look sloppy and there's kind of like this no ego side mm -hmm. that i think you need to have in order to have quantum shifts because i have no fucking shame in my game coming to you being like <laughs> like this is how ugly it, it it's been um and 
I feel really empowered actually sharing my deepest, darkest secrets because I'm like, finally, this is going to like, it, for me, I get a kick out of it. And I think that's a big part of it. It's like, can you be friends with it? Can you let yourself be seen in, your, in yes. the darkness? Yeah. And that's, you know, going to the core of the issue because uh, those type of containers, one-on-one mastermind, you know, they work when, as you said, when we let ourselves be seen, because uh, the moment we start putting like, uh, you know, shields and guards uh, and we, we fake it because I'm, I'm also a coach, I'm also a leader and I cannot be seen vulnerable and weak, you know, those are all ego, as you said, stories uh, and we can't create quantum leaps uh, because there is still a lot of masculine structure and blockages that it's even like even when I do my coding session I think I told you like working with you is so amazing because your energy mm -hmm. is so open and so easy to upgrade transform but a lot of sometimes when I do coding I cannot even penetrate you know the energy mm, that's interesting I didn't know that that was like that was a block. It's, it's so amazing how we're such energetic beings, right? And part of the surrender. And I think that's like, that's what you beautifully teach as well. Like, you know, there's, there's a lot of talk in the coaching industry right now about like feminine business. And it gets a lot of shame because it's like, oh, you can't just like rub crystals and like put it in your <laughs> pussy and, you know, pray to the gods. And that's true. Um, but there is a balance here. There is a balance of like the doing because you know, but also the fact that you are an energetic being and you are deeply feminine and that is your power. And this is what we're reclaiming in this new paradigm. And so to allow it all to exist, I think is um, really, really, really powerful. Like this surrendered receiving of coaching advice in order to take those shifts while also taking the action and being the space exactly. holder for your woman. It's this balance, it's this dance. And I think that's what we, we do really well. Mm, so beautiful. Mm. So where people where can connect with you, find more about your work, uh, what do you are up to? What am I up to? Um, you can find me on What Instagram. sexy things are you up to? <laughs> <laughs> sexy things, lots of sexy things. But um, <laughs> yeah, I'm relaunching my one-on-ones. I'm so excited about it because that's my jam, that's my juice, that's what I love. And so people are coming to me even before the launch now, so that's exciting. And I have my embodied business offer, which is business coaching, um, but embodied also in the femme, and femme fatale, which is my pleasure, power, sovereignty, all the yumminess, all the juiciness. And so mm -hmm. I'll be launching both of those. Um, and yeah. If you ever want to reach out or chat with me, I'm here. And I just want to say, if you're watching this and you're thinking about working with Elisa, fucking do it. Do it. Do yourself a favor. This is the <laughs> best decision I took in 2021. Seriously. Okay. I'm, I remember before I decided to do the mastermind, I was like, I was speaking to my dad and I'm like, dad, should I do it? And um, I told him all about it. And he, I thought he would, I don't know what I thought he would say, but he was like, do it this sounds amazing and I'm like wow it it's exactly what I needed and um I'm just so grateful for this what did what did Samantha say in the mastermind you receive Elisa's programs as well how do you feel oh that's a good question Sam um the programs that I also receive in Elisa's masterminds have been sorry this is low battery they've been amazing in the mastermind we get access to all of the monthly programs that you launched, which pff, have just been so good. The quantum money was amazing. We're in, it just blew my mind away. We're in Femme now, which is just connecting to our womb space and our inner masculine and feminine, which by the way, for so many of us in this industry, you think you, I thought I healed it. I thought I was already <laughs> moving past it. And I just didn't realize how much it's playing in my life. And just to revisit all these things in these beautiful different containers with different flavors um, of amazing women that you bring in. It's, it's been life-changing. Even the, um, the salon with Heike mm. yesterday, uh, two days ago, 
life-changing. I just cleared my whole room of my whole house of energy for the past few days. I've been feeling fucking buzzed. So happy. wow, you did it. That's so I've cool. been doing it every morning and every evening. It's so next level. Mm. So I just I'm so grateful for all the combination of the feminine, the masculine, the witchy, the it's just so full and whole working with you. Um, and so it's what I needed. It's the medicine I needed. Um, and yeah, again, I'm just so grateful. Thanks for having me on here. And it was fun Thank to like you. recap everything. Yeah, That was so fun and so good. So they can find you on your Insta? Yeah. Or Facebook? Facebook. Website. I have a ton of free master classes mm. and meditations and gorgeous things. And um, yeah, it's on my website. What's your website? JuliaLipman.com. Perfect. It was it was available ten ten dollars per year. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. Love you. Love you. Bye, babe. Bye.